bed of bliss really do it to me. And though I'm consciously self-actualized by the grace of a love that's true and the occasional esteem of strangers, I still dream of me and Mozart sailing through the Bronze Age, co-captaining a catamaran, port and starboard with our comely crew of Cretans, precocious Minoan maidens, with beaded, plaited locks and copper snakes wound round their tanned and slender, supple arms. Adored like young bulls we were, like rock superstars on tour. Sometimes we beat her and sometimes we anchor. Let the porters in the lighter bear the harpsichord to shore. Ascetics to the cult of Eros and his psyche, dutiful devotees we worship at the altar, lighting incense to the idol of the temple of Aphrodite where, plucked and anointed novices, tattooed and henned initiates, revered and festooned matrons smile and giggle amid pillows plush and puffed and piled high and precarious on cool mosaic and marbled floors. Oh, the rites of devotion. And later at the poolside bar, fountain nymphs are frolicking, the oracle is rollicking. We join Lautrec and Dostoevsky hoisting, yarning, belching, boasting, trading comic tragedies. Tearful tales of loves gone by, we laugh, we cry, we hoist another, and I find I'm drunken on a crustaceous kaikion concoction, forever caught, bound, and put away in the zany, crazy, arbitrary, mystic weaver's wondrous woven web of time. Oh, the Bronze Age! Organic food, natural cordage, and the wooden boats with painted sails. Bamboo Bubble. and bone and amber and lapis lazuli, and the nights passed out with trampoline beneath a canopy of stars. And then we cruise to Africa, ah, Mother Africa. And while Amadeus brings the boat around, I venture forth alone, from Dakar to Zanzibar via Timbuktu and Khartoum. Top a camel, astride a bicycle by Feluca and dugout canoe, drifting down the Niger and running up the Nile, glissading down the glaciers of Kilimanjaro. Early on the way, I take a reggae dervish bow, whirling across a Sahel green with rain, or a Serengeti, till I reach the eastern shore and put to sea again. Ah, to put to sea again. And we sail out to Seychelles and on to the beach at Goa, where we salute the sun and watch our spirits flying free. And somewhere in the passage between Baya Bora Bora and the ruffled, fragrant island of Can Can, I toast the health of Wolfgang, saying, Thanks for the tunes, Captain. And by benediction, pour rum on the wine dark ocean. As flying fish and dolphin dart between the boughs and skip along waves and swelling seas. Then I wake upon a rosy fingered dawn, with my love softly beside me, eyes a flutter far away, in a fantastic future flying, suspended, soaring, floating, flying, high up in the soft blue dome and shining billows she flies. 